Jay! Huh? What are you doing? Uh, Your shoes have to sparkle! What? Do you want to get spanked? I'm doing it! I'm... What? What's this all about? Well, it's about St. Nicholas Day, a holiday where children find presents and candy in their shoes. Brought to them by St. Nicholas. But who was this St. Nicholas? He was a historic 4th century saint and bishop of Myra, which is located in modern day Turkey, who died on December 6 of the year 346 and is celebrated as a gift giver in several European countries. In specific, Germany! The legend says that the father of three young girls was so poor that he had no choice but to sell them into prostitution or slavery. When St. Nicholas heard about this, he secretly threw three bags of gold through the chimney to provide the needed gold for the girls. Other legends have him leave baskets of food and clothing in front of the doorsteps of the needy, or gifts in socks or shoes. And this made St. Nicholas the model for today's Santa Claus! However, the modern day St. Nicholas that we celebrate on December 6th is probably a mix between the historic gift-giving saint and German mythology. In specific, the German pagan god Odin, with his beard and back to capture naughty children. In Austria and other Eastern European countries, St. Nicholas is accompanied by Krampus, a demonic beast-like creature that, instead of St. Nicholas, will punish naughty children with his rod, or even carry them away in his back. So one day in advance, on December 5th, German children clean their shoes and they leave them on the doorstep for St. Nicholas. Why do they do that? Are they offering him their shoes? Nope. It's because of this reputation of St. Nicholas of secretly leaving gifts in shoes. According to the legend, St. Nicholas comes at night on a horse or donkey and leaves coins, chocolates, oranges, nuts and toys for the good children. But what happens if you're a naughty child? If you drew on the wall with lipstick or if you burnt down the whole house? Some children will find a rod instead of candy in their shoes, symbolizing spankings. In other families, a family member will dress up as Saint Nicholas and will question the child about his or her behavior. And if you are really naughty, you may even get a pretended spanking with a rod. The rod is more an invention of parents to teach the children a lesson. But what is really frightening for children is the fact that in Austria and other Eastern European countries, young men dress up as Krampus and roam the streets to frighten the children. It's pretty terrifying. So you better be good and clean your shoes. Why? Tanya, you are torturing me. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and clean your shoes. Watch last week's video over here. And I'll see you next week.